So, I'm going to show you once again how to do the cube. It's uh, a pretty cool um, artwork when you're finished, but there are quite a few steps. So we're going to go File, New, to start a new one. Okay, if you click on Print, find A4, make sure it's Landscape, CMYK, and then Create. So the first thing you're going to need to do is find this toolbar here. If you don't have all these tools, go up to Window, drop down to Workspace, and across to Essentials Classic. Yours will default as Essentials when you install Adobe Illustrator. Essentials Classic means you have all of these bars that I have and all of these tools here as well. Okay, so hover over the rectangle, hold your trackpad down until you get the polygon tool. Click once on your screen, make sure you've got six sides and then cancel and then you can make your polygon. Okay, there we go. Use the black arrow to drag it into position in the center of your page. You can shrink it a bit, hold down the shift key to make it in proportion and then rotate it just like that until it is nice and square. You've got to make sure that the points are pointing up and down on your page. Now we're going to use the line segment tool, which is this one here. Click on that. We're going to find the bottom anchor and drag a line up until we find the center. Okay, and a few little words might pop up like intersect or something like that, but center is the one you really want. And there we go, that's perfect. We're going to do another one from this anchor to this anchor. Then another one from this anchor to this anchor just like that and we now have three rhombuses inside our hexagon select all of these come over to the shape builder tool click in each one to turn them into their own shapes okay back to the black arrow tool and then we're good to keep going so we're going to choose the rectangle tool again we're going to make a rectangle from this corner or that anchor all the way across to this anchor and then that's perfect we're going to now use the white arrow tool the direct selection tool okay and we're going to drag click on this anchor and then click on it once again to make sure you've just got the anchor otherwise what can happen is you might grab the whole shape and then drag the whole shape so pull this line until it's lining up with this corner but coming down in this direction just like that and then do the same with this one line it up with the same corner there we go and we have our shapes now select everything go down here to this little black and white square called default fill and stroke and that will turn everything default the hotkey is D so you can just press D and that will default everything to a white color with a black outline. And that will mean you'll see if this is in front or behind your cube, it's in front. So we need to just click on it, Command X to cut, and then Command B to paste behind. Okay. Now we're going to do our background, a rectangle just above the halfway mark like this. And then another rectangle all the way up like this. Use the black arrow key to grab the two rectangles and the same thing, Command X, Command B, and there we have it. So now it's just a matter of colouring it in. You should already have all of these as shapes. Okay, come over, click on the darkest thing, which will be our background, over here to our uh, colour swatches. Your colour swatch window won't show black and white at this stage, so you need to grab the base and open it up a little bit. So this one is going to be a 7. So about here, this one's going to be about a six. This one's going to be, well, maybe this one will be a five. This one will be a four. This one will be a three. And this one will be a two or a one. Okay, there we go. Now, the last thing we'll do is select everything and then click on the stroke which is our outlines and click on none for no stroke okay and there we go we have our lovely 
looking cube there. So if you have any questions, just shoot me an email and ask.